So welcome to this next video. Today I want to show you um, a way to interpolate between images in, in Comfy UI. Um, I will show three different kinds of interpolation. The first one is interpolation between photos or generations. Um, so something like an something like a morphing effect you might know. Uh, the second type would be um, interpolation for animate diff or SVD, a stable video diffusion output. And the third uh, kind of interpolation will be um, interpolation between the images of a image sequence you can load from a folder. So let's start with the first way, with the first kind of interpolation. Let's load uh, two or three images um, through which we, uh, between which we will um, create transition frames. So for this we need uh, three image nodes, three image load nodes. So we have this lovely Panda bear. Mm, I, I plan to interpolate from this frame to another frame and to the first frame again. So we have a seamless loop. So um, we need this one. We need another one. We can do, uh, duplicate this one. Um, I have a slightly different Panda bear movement here as a second frame. Um, this these images are from the GitHub repository of the um, custom nodes you need for the interpolation. I will show you soon. Um, I will link it down in the description so we can use the same images or um, yeah try it with different images. Um, yeah, so we need a third one, and for this we choose the first image again. Now we will pipe these images um, into a batch creation node. We need for the interpolation, um, the algorithm needs at least two frames, two images. Between it can uh, interpolate and um, calculate the steps in between. Um, if we give it three images, um, it will interpolate between the first and the second, and then between the second and the third. So uh, what, what is important for this, um, we need the images um, as a batch, as an image batch. This is, for, for example, if you uh, use um, Animate Diff, it will output something like a batch. Uh, it's it's something like a um, image sequence, a sequence of images. So uh, for the, for the custom interpolation node, we need to convert those three images to an image batch. Um, for this, I want to um, take a node from the impact pack. Uh, I will link. Uh, the impact pack in the description below. So where is it? Impact pack, util, and then make image batch. So, so we have to input the first image here. After this, there will be a second input created. We can input the second one. And after that, the third input will cre be created and we pipe in the third picture. So let's have a look. Real one, real, real, real zero, real one, real zero. Okay, we have our image batch, our sequence. We will now pipe this into a film interpolation node. We can search for it, film. So it is um, uh, a node from the ConfUI frame interpolation custom node pack. There are other um, 
interpolation algorithm nodes in it, but the film node and the rive node are the only ones I uh, used so far, and they are also the most common ones out of this pack. So we have our interpolation modifier now. Um, you can all ignore all, all the um, settings. The most important one is the multiplier. This will set the number of frames which will be calculated in between each frame. So we will put this to 10 to have a really smooth transition. And then we need to pipe this into um, an image save or um, image preview node to see what we got. So let's try it out. So we have our frames here. So we want to see it as an animation. I will take the um, VHS node, the video combine node. This will save a GIF file or a MP4 file so that we have a real animation. Let's pipe the output here and choose and before and let's take 12 frames so let's calculate again so they have, there we have our dancing panda um yeah you see with this example with this images it is working quite well if you have two images uh, between you will uh, you want to interpolate which are quite different this w might not work as well as with these images so the second kind of interpolation works good for um, animations like you get from animativ So let's take a st standard 1.5 checkpoint. Mm. So we need our prompt, the positive one and the negative one. Mm. As a positive prompt, I want to choose the following uh, video of a woman with wind flowing through hair, 8K photorealistic photo. And as a mm, the negative prompt, I, I don't I think we don't need this at the moment. So let's add an animative sampler. Let's pipe everything in, positive to positive, negative to negative. We need an empty latent image for our resolution, 512 to 512 is good for now. Mm, I think we don't change the sliding window options. And we need the motion module and take the MM stabilized mid PTH. So then we need to uh, decode the latent to an image. We need to pipe the VAE into the VAE input. And then we take the VHS um, 
video combine node again to see what's going on. So this is a mm, standard Confu, uh, ConfUI animative workflow. And now we can simply drop the film interpolation node in between here to get what we want. So let's search for film again and simply pipe it to the video combine. So think that it and this case I uh, only want to use like three images as a three mult uh, the uh, value of three for the multiplier because uh, for this kind of animation um, it can be can give a strange look if it is too much so we again have to adjust the frame rate and I think we can try this. So again, for every frame which create will be created here, our film interpolation node will um, create the frames in between. So we get a more smooth transition. You can see it here. So it is more like a morphing. Uh, and we can try it without to see the difference. So it's much faster and not as smooth. We can try with small frames in between the sequence frames. So we can see here it's really like you see the 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 main frames and then the animation between the frames so this is if you want such a result this is great but um i would say the multiplier is too high in this case you can also use this for stable video diffusion or every workflow which gives you uh, this uh, batch format, so a uh, sequence of images. So the last kind of interpolation is the interpolation from a sequence which you will load, which we will load from a folder. So for this, we need a special node again. Find the node in the ACN package. Uh, it's uh, sorted under deprecated um, and it is marked as deprecated but I think I have read on the github that they will uh, hold this node in their repository. Um, yeah, I think it is a great one. Um, I haven't found any other custom node which loads a sequence of images from a folder into a batch format. Um, um, other custom nodes uh, only need, uh, load the images or one by one and uh, not the whole folder into a batch file, a batch format. We have to put in our directory here. I will use the frames from the from the last tutorial, our fly through the, through the galaxy. So for this, we can directly pipe it into the film node. Uh, I will use three as a multiplier, and then I will copy and paste the video combine as our preview. Um, yeah, 
that's it let's try it out here is our result you see you really see um, how it is interpolated so I, I would say the multiplayer with two would be enough um, yeah and I think that's it what I want to show today um, so like and subscribe and I hope I will see you in the next video again. In the next video, I want to show you how you upscale and crop uh, stable video diffusion videos uh, to 4K or full HD uh, video resolution so that you can upload it to YouTube or use it further in your uh, video editor. So, yeah. That's it.